Ta-da! Check, check one, two. Humans, are you there? How do we know? How do we know if they're there? Is there I a... see attendees coming on fast and furious right now, oh, so there, I there think we we're rolling. Wow, exciting. Well, folks, for those of you who are already here, um, we're going to wait just a couple minutes. I know people are logging on. We're, we can see the, geez, participants just <laughs> That's very exciting. There's a lot of you guys. Also, just FYI for you folks, um, we can't hear you. Obviously, you guys are muted. However, we can see your chat. David Hewitt, hello. We'd love to hear your uh, comments and hellos and stuff like that in the chat window. But of course, since there's over like 200 people that are on this, or I don't even know, maybe more than that, Ryan? Yeah, 215, something like that. Like, it's crazy. So obviously, this is a big deal right now, trying to figure out what the heck's going on in our world. <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna be, we're gonna have you guys all muted because we can't obviously have people's dogs barking and kids going dad and like stuff like that in the background. But um, throughout this process, hi, Jennifer Hopkins. Hello, nice to see you. Dave, hello, Michigan, nice. But uh, you guys can always chip in, um, you know, questions and stuff like that and comments in the chat window. At the end, Ryan and I will do our absolute best depending on like how much time we've got to scroll through and uh you know if you have specific questions or something like that we'll we'll check those out but how can i act oh figured it out on my own cool hello jeff from orlando florida hello heidi dave brooke this is great i keep trying to record this ryan are you recording this I'm recording. for everybody yeah, you bet i got it here so i don't have to record is what you're saying it's all taken care of becca okay <laughs> Great. Yeah. Cool. Chadwick from Atlanta. Hello from Chicago. Hey, Becca and that guy. <laughs> oh, oh, I do. Oh, hey, let's ja oh, hey, let's Jason. I know you from Instagram. Yeah, that's great. David says, glad I'm muted. I'm eating chips. Well, I'm going to be sucking down some good old fashioned Coke <laughs> diet, obviously. I will be burping, but it's fine. Guys, I'm very excited to uh, be joining you today with Ryan uh, from Alberta, Canada. That's right. Calgary. Calgary, Alberta. Here. Good to be here. That's right. And it, it, oh, I put this in the freezer and now it's, uh, it's overflowing. This is going to be an issue. Why does it keep doing that? Have you ever put a soda in the freezer and like it turns, it just keeps overflowing? Like pop, why did, why is it doing this? I have no idea, but I do see a laundry basket behind you. So if there's a towel in there or something, old dirty towel, you can pull it out now before we really get going if you'd like. There's not that, but I'll just keep, I'll just keep doing this. But anyways, you guys, we're super stoked to be chatting with you here today. Um, what a weird time we're all going through. <laughs> uh, it's nuts. I, nobody knows what to make of it. And I'm curious how long it's going to last for, right? Like what, what gets us out of this thing? But yeah, it's interesting. And I know, you know, for most of us, it's like, how do we operate business as usual as much as humanly possible? I'm really sorry about this. It's just going to keep happening. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it, but keep sucking down Diet Coke. But you guys, what we're going to be trying to kind of focus on here right now is what is in the circle of our control? What can we do? And part of that is going to be rolling with the punches here. Like, how can we adapt our normal sales process as much as humanly possible using technology and stuff that we have like that to be able to continue selling, generating leads and operating our businesses, right? So sumo quote is, I've actually been talking to Ryan for like over a year. He's been harassing me in the best way. He's really good at it. <laughs> My assistant Zane and I were talking the other day. We're like, Ryan would be really, he's just, he'd be great on like a dating show because he knows how to harass people without being annoying is so great but I've he's got really such an awesome before, love. thank you <laughs> we're like he'd be really good on a dating show <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i mean i can't believe this is just it's just gonna keep exploding so i'm just gonna dump it in this, <laughs> this trash can down here. <laughs> before this webinar began you guys i was like i'm gonna stick a diet coke in the freezer so that i can be highly caffeinated and i did but i overdid it so but anyways, we're going to get kicked off here. It's about 2.05, so we're assuming everybody should probably be here. But uh, I'm going to kind of introduce you guys to Ryan. Like I said, I've been 
chatting with Ryan for over a year now. I've done a couple of uh, sort of webinars just personally with him and Zooms to go over Summa Quote and check out the, the program as it's kind of progressed and stuff like that. Um, but Ryan is up in Alberta, Canada. He's the CEO of Sumo Quote, and uh, he's actually part owner of like the largest residential roofing company in his province, which is Epic Roofing. And he's been in charge of over the last five years, 115 employees and a hundred million dollars in residential roofing sales, which those are crazy numbers. Um, that's nothing to sneeze at. Like that's a big operation and they've really found a way to scale their business. Um, and they do both insurance and retail stuff, correct? Yep, you bet. We, we're on the edge of the Rockies. So we're like Denver. So we get all those crazy storms that roll over the Rockies and pound us as well. So we've, right. we've gotten real comfortable with those over the years. Yeah, well, when I went up and visited my uncle who lives in Calgary, I remember seeing so many cars with hail damage. I was like, you guys have a big roofing market up here, I bet. And they're like, oh yeah, it's crazy. So he kind of knows both sides of the, the game, which I know a lot of you do a little bit of both as well, um, retail and uh, like the insurance stuff. So what he's done with his software is really unique. Um, he'll share some of the stats with you, but they've dramatically increased their closing ratio using this software, which is basically like a quote builder and an online uh, like sales presentation software that you can use with your customers and using the same amount of leads what was it that you guys increased your closing ratio by without, with the same number of leads from like the previous year or two? Yeah, with the same number of leads, we were up 64%. And it was, it was a couple million dollars of revenue in, in, our, uh, in our residential company, like just in our retail sales. So that wasn't our insurance sales and other stuff. That was just our retail sales. Yeah, we, it, was, it was significant. It had a huge impact on us. And that's huge, you guys, 64%. So that means that if you only, obviously it's a small number, if you had a thousand leads last year, you would have gotten, what is it, 640 more customers out of there. Let me correct the math there just a little bit. Better. My math is bad. <laughs> yeah. If you were, had a thousand leads and you won 300 of them, right. we would have helped you, if you increased 64%, more. we would have helped you close an extra 200 deals over that's, and above that, which would be massive. Right, that's crazy. Like yeah. 240 more deals for most people is gonna be, that's millions of dollars in revenue. So yeah. it's exciting. Um, you're gonna see how the software works and particularly right now, like we're in this time where we can't necessarily be going door to door like we could. We're not really doing the same face-to-face -face appointments. And so if you're not adapting to the current work environment with social distancing and all that, with the whole coronavirus thing, you're going to be falling behind and nobody wants to do that. And I know that you guys are some of the hardest workers out there. Like you guys find a way to do it. And my job, I feel like right now is to help point you guys in the right direction of apps and technology that are really going to make a huge difference. And I, honest to God, I always want you guys to know something too. I get approached every single day by multiple people with programs and apps and technologies and lead services and, and all that stuff that are constantly trying to get to my audience because I have thousands of people, right? Like Roof Sales Mastery has thousands of sus subscribers and members and 11,000 YouTube followers, stuff like that. I am super, super picky about what I show to you guys. Like I have to really, really believe in it. And Ryan's stuff with Sumo Quote, I 100% believe in. I love it for you guys and we're gonna get started and show you what it can do. Sound good? All right, folks, let's go. So how we're gonna do this, I'm just gonna let Ryan kind of, he's gonna share his screen and we're gonna do like a walkthrough of Sumo Quote, the software itself. We're gonna show you like a quote, um, like a sample quote. And so Ryan, I'm just gonna let you sort of take off here and just show us the software. And I'm just going to pitch in my commentary about how this really applies to you guys and how you can use it in your businesses right now. That sounds perfect. Okay. So yeah, here's, here's my screen. Um, and I just figured let's start off with the sample quote, right? Like, so let's take a look at what this is and then we can see how we built this. Um, so far I don't see your screen though. Do we uh, have, Oh, here we go. Now you're, now it's working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Woo! <laughs> our Diet Coke is exploding. Our screen yeah. is appearing. My camera wasn't working before you guys hopped on. 
So yeah, I mean, what Sumo Quote is going to help you do, um, we're going to let you put your branding on here as a company. What we want to basically, the goal is if a customer has three quotes, and obviously it's it's so much about the salesperson and how you engage them, but Sumo Quote is going to help you walk through that just with your presentation, with creating a super polished professional presentation for you as well. Um, but if a, if a homeowner does have multiple quotes on something, and specifically thinking retail there, if you've got two quotes that are your standard, generic, a bunch of line items and a price and that's it, and then you've got something like what we're gonna show you, like that's the impact um, of why homeowners sign off so much more with us. Because when you see a quote like this pop out, you know, obviously they look at it and they're just like, oh, well that's the more professional company of the group, I can see that. Like, and so I get why they're, you know, $1,200 more expensive. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with them, right? So, and I'm going to interject into yeah, that too. First yeah. two things. Uh, folks in the chat, can you comment if you see uh, Ryan's screen or not? Because Ryan, I still don't see it. It says on there, Ryan Shantz is screen sharing, but it doesn't. Okay, Jeff sees it. Well, what the heck? Oh, everybody can see it except me? Literally oh my God. everybody. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> well, well, I can't see it though. Um, this is a problem for me. <laughs> on your technology there Becca I'll start walking people through this and then I have no doubt you'll figure it out there does that sound I good? don't think I will figure it out though I, <laughs> this is not my area of expertise uh I can try let's see <laughs> your mess I know Marcus <laughs> I'm doing my best here you guys okay I shaved my legs for you guys today all right so give me a break like I really did though um I don't know how to make it show up though I really don't I don't know how to do this uh, you should be able to click on your Zoom icon, and with the Zoom icon, do you see you and I still on there? I see you and I. So, I would imagine you just expand that out so that you can see more on there. I've done that too. Okay. Yep, I've done all the obvious things, but for some reason, it's a uh, speaker view. Oh, no. Yep. Well, if you would like Becca feel free to log out and log back in again. And I'll just start taking people through the sample here. That sounds I'm good. Sure we'll see you in a minute. All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry about perfect. Uh, but I'm going to log out and log back in so that hopefully it'll show up. But right now it's not showing up. So see you in a second. <laughs> see you in a second. Awesome. Okay. So I'll walk you guys through this, right? So we've got a sample quote here. Um, we want to really personalize this thing to the homeowner. We want to stand out for them. So we put their house on the cover. Uh, and then as we go through this thing, we've got an introduction page and there's lots of templates you can save. So you're not copying and pasting and typing stuff in a ton. So you can choose from templates in order to, uh, in order to talk to the homeowner and show them what's going on here. And I'll go through, I actually, I created for Epic a uh, marketing page just on how we're managing COVID-19 safely. So we want to, you know, talk to homeowners and show them we've got a plan. So we're showing them by stitching in a custom marketing page here. Hey, we've got a plan. This isn't a big deal. We can make sure we do your roof replacement right now today safely for you. Becca, how are you doing there? Logging in still, it looks like. Um, inspection photos. Like again, we want to do this in one document so that you're not attaching 10 different things. So that you're not attaching photos and attaching a quote and attaching your liability waiver and attaching your the insurance quote and everything else like we can just stitch it into one document for you so it's super seamless so you can add photos in there you know i'm doing a retail quote here so i might do a good better best so i do my good and show them a better option and of course the best and we walk them through our sales process and then on the authorization page here we can list some additional upgrades let them sign off on products and sign of course we've got e-signing all that built into it so it can all be done virtually super easy for people um when they're signing off right i'm going to put in typically a page so that they can select shingle colors so they've got shingle colors they can pick from maybe i mark it a bit more about our company to give them some confidence that we can be trusted and and throw on our terms and conditions so when we're saying let's put together a thoughtful quote and something that really stands out like something like this makes a huge impact for looking different than other stuff on the market out there. So that's the kind of stuff we do. Becca, how are we doing? Are you back? It looks like it's twiddling along on your photo there. So, or your video. 
she might have to reboot her entire network. Who knows? Um, anyways, I'm just going to keep bouncing through this for you guys then. Um, so, you know, and Becca and I, and, and we might back up here because she's always got some really good thoughts on this stuff, right? Just trying to be thoughtful about at different stages, how you're, how you're conversing and, you know, she does really well at handling objections and stuff, right? We all know that. So what Sumo Quote does is it's kind of that tool where when you can't be face to face and people are evaluating you on your quote way more so, um, now, you know, they're signing off in their home and you can't be sitting in there. So Sumo Quote, you can stitch in things that are going to help handle those objections and it'll all be done right in your quote. So it's way easier, right? As opposed to another, just again, just one page, uh, a bunch of line items and price that's doing nothing for helping the homeowner understand all the value you're going to bring in as a contractor. So let's do this. I'm going to jump through here. Uh, and I, rather than just creating a project, I'm actually going to create this out of company cam. I'm guessing there's some company cam users out there. And so when I click on this, I'm just going to search for a name or an address or whatever, and I'm going to find it in company cam. And I'm going to link this. So I'm going to pull in all the information from company cam straight away and link all of my photos in this sumo quote project to the project in company cam. Kevin, yeah, I see the comment there. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's about a thousand people out there in the call right now that use company cam. It's huge. Um, so here, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start creating a report, right? And these pages on the left should look familiar, right? Title page, introduction, inspection. So if you want to include an introduction page, you just toggle it on. And if you don't toggle it off. So it's really easy to pick the pages you want to include in your presentation. Um, and now on the title page here, We've already got the homeowner information in, this stuff all just magically happens. And adding that primary image, the image of their house, we can drag and drop something in. If you're on an iPad, so if you're going door to door and you're on an iPad and you hit this, it's just gonna say, do you wanna pull from your photo library or do you wanna take a picture? You just say, take a picture, you snap the picture, it dumps straight in there. Like it's super seamless as you're work, working through this. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna hit, let's get from company camp. And so this is my company cam account for that, for that project. Like I'm literally going through all the photos. We're just overlaying company cams uh, back end there with the Sumo Quote interface. And it just magically dumps in. So you've got instant access to your company cam photos anywhere where you're adding photos in here. So again, we just want to make that super easy. Obviously we're missing Becca here. It will be great. I'm sure she will get logged back in at some point. She's probably freaking out or she's just sitting back drinking her Diet Coke. Um, but let's go to the introduction page here and there's lots of templates that we can save. So I want to make sure I I'm showing you guys some different options. So if I'm going through here, um, you know, I'm grabbing a template and I'm just going to put in my retail text, right? And so I can grab some quick retail text and I can talk to the homeowner about, Hey, here's our step-by-step -step and here's how we do it. And here's a link to a financing page. And literally all I have to do here is just put in the client's first name and I can be done. I mean, don't get me wrong. We want to try and customize this to the client. So if they're just raving about their rose bushes all the time, put in a comment about the rose bushes. It, it literally takes five seconds. And that's the thing that matters most to them because they've already brought it up three times since you've been talking to them, right? Like it's, you do want to be able to customize it, but you want it to be really, really fast for you as well. Um, and again, I'm going to jump in here and just flip this over to an insurance fund. So if I go here now, if I'm going through and I'm doing insurance and maybe I'm door knocking now, what I'm saying is, Hey, we're a professional residential roofing company. We've handled thousands of insurance claims and this is what we do. We're going to do an initial assessment for you and document all the relevant damages. We're going to schedule a meeting to discuss this with you. We're going to review your approved insurance estimate. There's additional meeting to discuss any possible supplements there might be and engage with the adjuster on your behalf, right? Like, so we're giving them a very clear plan again to make it easy for them to understand. One of my guys, um, one of my guys a couple of years ago when I was running the sales team, he went in and was sitting down with, uh, with the homeowner and the homeowner all along had been like, you know what, I'm probably using this other company. I really like them. And he went in and sat down with the guy and after 10 minutes, the guy said, you know what, actually, I'm going to go with you guys. I mean, look at your quote. It's so much more detailed. Now, here's the interesting part. The competitor's quote was sitting right there on the table for my guy to be able to see the whole time. 
And he actually thought the competitor's quote was far more detailed, but it was obviously built in like Word or Excel or something. So it had a ton of industry jargon. It was really, it was just text, 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 text. Like, whereas with Sumo Quote, we make it really visual. We make it really easy for them to understand. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. There's something out there um, in behavioral economics. They call it uh, buyer's fatigue, right? And basically where they're what they're talking about there is the fatigue you get as a buyer when you're trying to understand what it is you're purchasing. And so if you make something too complex and it's all text and it's difficult to take in, you lose the person really fast. They, they're working um, really hard and, and at some point they just say, forget it, this is too hard to understand. And it makes it far more difficult to close that sale. So you want to make it really easy. And that's, you know, sumo quote, um, you know, or, or just any real professional presentation like this. You, you want to make it really visual and easy for them to understand. So, um, so going through and giving kind of the bullet points, the one, two, three, that makes it really easy for them to understand. And then when you flip on the inspection page, Becca, <laughs> Becca, are you back? Oh my God, you guys, that was the, what a disaster. <laughs> I like tried to log back in and it just kept doing the wheel. So I was like, well, I'll just close out of it. So I did that. And then I tried again and it did the wheel again. So then I'm like, I'll just restart my computer. So I did that. And remember before we got started, I was like, I was making a joke because my computer kept asking if I wanted to do a software update. And I said, no, uh -huh. well, I restarted my computer and it turned back on. It goes 37 minutes remaining. It started doing the software update. So I'm like, oh my God. So then I went and I ran. I got, <laughs> I got Zane's computer. We're back. Hey, Guys. Well, the big important question, Becca, that everyone wants to know, can you see my screen now that I'm screen I can there? see your screen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's back. All right. It's worked. <laughs> Oh my gosh, everybody, thanks for your patience. That was, uh, I don't know what was going on with, with my Zoom there, but I couldn't, couldn't see it. So where okay. are we? Catch me up. Let's dive right back in. We are back in business. Okay, so I walked everyone through adding a, a picture from Company Cam, uh, title page or the introduction page that we've got templates that we can pick from and stuff. And then really just the importance of like, hey, make it easy for the homeowner to understand. Use bullet points, use numbers, like, don't just pound in a ton of jargon and stuff that is going to cause them to tune out. And I was just going to show them some photos and how we could, we could grab some photos and dump them in. And I want to interject something that I love about like this whole interface is, you know, I always make comments about like making it like Steve jobs made it right. Most of the time when contractors are presenting like their stuff, most of the time it's either on a piece of paper or it's on like a PowerPoint that they have. That's like, <laughs> right. So being able to do it this way, just making it like a user friendly, like almost like an Apple experience makes it like a, a, a pleasurable buying experience for the customer. Cause you know, I've made videos about this before, but I talk about like, you know, roof stuff isn't exactly that sexy, right? Like doing a kitchen remodel or bathroom remodel is sexy, but somehow we have to make like the roofing, the exterior stuff, which is inherently not so sexy we have to make it sexy and i think that making it like this super user friendly experience for the customer just it it brings a different element to it than some guy coming over with a binder with owens corning on it right so i just want to interject that because as a homeowner myself i just i like this whole interface i'm like this is just better <laughs> so continue yes by all means um well yeah i mean so we've talked about making it visual, make it easier for them to understand. So show them some pictures. And, you know, I know Becca will, will typically sort of be like, oh, so Mr. and Mrs. Jones, um, what really matters to you with this project? Oh, yeah, rose bushes. Well, let's put a picture, you know, put a picture of their rose bushes in the quote. So if you, you're set telling them this matters to them as well, right? Like, I don't know if I have a picture of rose bushes. Here, I'm going to use this one, right? So click, grab a picture. And then right in sumo quote here, I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to, I'm going to mark this picture up too, right? So I'll crop it around and I'm going to annotate this thing and be like, these rose bushes right here, these are the most important thing of the entire job for us. We are going to double tarp these things 
and yep. just make sure like they are the they are blooming exactly like you want them at the end right exactly yeah make things personal like that's another part I don't know if you can call it rapport, but to applying that personal touch, like during your sales presentation, again, you know, Ryan, of course, I was gone for the last couple of minutes. He might've kind of gone in, into this a little bit more into detail, but I would like to add, like when you're presenting to a homeowner, especially in retail, but really in any situation, you want to make it as different from your competitors as humanly possible. And if you don't, guess what? almost everybody is like, I'm an elite shingle installer. I'm a master elite with Owens Corning or certain teed or whatever. And if it looks exactly the same and it comes down to price, you really don't have a whole lot to work with. And so paying special attention to like things that they care about. Some people are like super, super into their landscaping. It's really important to them. They've spent thousands of dollars on it or maybe they have pets or kids or whatever. And so, or their neighbor is really close next door to their house. Like I've been in, in neighborhoods where I can touch both houses standing between them. And it's like, they wanna make sure they're not hurting the little old lady's house next to them. T like paying special attention to that and including it in your visual presentation, not just an offhanded comment about it is absolutely clutch because I guarantee you nobody else is doing that. They're just showing up and saying, we have a 10 year warranty. We use this shingle and it's this much. And you guys are going in and really making it kind of a personal experience. The way to highlight this with the photos, I think, is brilliant. Ryan, continue. <laughs> yes, thank you, Becca. And uh, and yeah, I mean, it, just like Becca said, to echo it, like if you're the only contractor that's included in the quote, what you're telling the homeowner is, I'm the only contractor that actually cares about the thing that you care about. Exactly. So, and it doesn't need to be long, right? You add one photo, and from company cam, it takes like five seconds. And on the introduction page, you just make one note on it here. It like, it's an extra 20 seconds to make this thing. So you can do it really, really easily as you're going through this as well. Yeah. Um, quote details page, Becca, flip a coin. You want uh, retail insurance. What do you want me to cover here? Let's do insurance because I know a ton of the audience does a lot of insurance. So let's start with that. Okay, done. I mean, so obviously we've got this thing queued up for a more retail type quote with all the line items and stuff and we can add additional quotes so you can do good, better, best and stuff like that. But I'm gonna jump into my templates here and I'm gonna do in my insurance one here. And all I'm gonna do is start by putting in the deductible, right? And now I go view page. So this is what I've built here in a second, right? So I've got my template and this is not your typical line item quote, right? So now we're saying, we'll complete repairs on your property as laid out in your insurance estimate. Your authorization will apply should the total value change as directed by your adjuster supplements, right? Like we're going through a contingency contract for them, right? right? If your company denies a full replacement, you're not obligated to this contract. And then you talk about the responsibilities of your company. And hey, the reason we get you to sign this is because we're going to start doing a lot of work for you here. There's a lot of effort and energy that we're going to put into managing this for you. And really homeowner costs, deductible, applicable depreciation, any upgrades, like Really, we're putting in a thousand bucks here right now for your deductible. And we'll talk about those other things if you want to later on. But you can quickly just create a contingency contract as you're going through and still have this total professional custom presentation for them as you as you walk through this with Sumo Quote. And by the way, everybody, all of that is completely editable, right? You can customize okay. all that verbiage and everything right in there. So you can take whatever contingency that you guys are using in your company right now and enter that information. And what he just went over in his version is like, if you're in my advanced sales training program or the accelerator or the new hires training, my script, my closing script, that's when we're going over the page and you say, Mrs. Jones, you know, I'm not going to charge you anything to come out, estimate, measure, meet with your adjuster, make sure your stuff gets approved, line everything out, do the test squares, yada, yada. All I ask is at the end of all of that, and we get your roof approved, a signature here means you get to do the roof and the only thing that out of, out of pocket for you is going to be your deductible. Sound fair? And they're like, duh. <laughs> so that's that page. Um, but you can enter all that information. You can customize it in, in Sumo quote right there to match your own contingency form as well. So yeah, totally customize it. You can put additional terms and conditions on. Um, and then this page, you know, if you're doing retail, it just instantly flips into let's do a retail one. Right. And, you've got all your line items and you start filling in your quantities and you've got your unit pricing, right? And I'm gonna you know, delete some sections here, 
I'm going to add an item and maybe there's a skylight on the job. So I start typing skylight. My price list magically appears for me and it's a curb mount two by four done. So I pick that one It puts in my price. I just change the quantity on it. So I can add light items, delete line items. If I want to add a section. I can do that to add more line items. And so it's really simple. You just grab a template and start tweaking that template to whatever it is for the homeowner on that project. And by the way, another thing that I love about this is how many times you guys are you sitting there and the dude's like, what would it cost to replace those skylights? Or like, what, what would it be? To the, so they're already, you know, that's a buying question. So they're already bought in. So instead of saying, oh, I can get you a bid, instead of having to wait and then come back and then he's got time for it. If he's asking you a buying question right then and there and you have in front of him, you can edit and go, oh yeah, let's add it in there right now. And he goes, oh, okay. This just makes everything instantaneous. Like everybody who's good at sales understands that the sale is happening now. It's not come back later. It's what can we get them to agree to right now while they're in the buying mood, they understand it's fresh in their mind. And being able to literally just hit add or minus using this software just makes it like so easy. I feel like I'm sitting here on Amazon, like sure, I'll buy 15 more <laughs> pairs of black leggings that I already have, I don't know. Cause I can just hit the button, it's so easy. It's like a one click buy. People like that and it's what they're used to and it just makes it an intuitive buying experience. So go on. <laughs> Done, thank you. Um, all right, uh, I'll show you one more thing here. Templates, cause we can add additional quotes to this. So I'm gonna click in here and I've got a uh, good, better, best saved in here. So yeah. it's already preloaded. You, you're literally just tweaking some quantities. You've got this whole thing. Like there's a lot of templates you can save. So once you've got, and we preload a whole bunch of stuff for you of stuff that I'm showing you right now. Like we actually give you a lot of this when you start an account with us. So, you know, then you're just tweaking it to make it your own and, and saving it. It's, it's fast. Um, authorization page. Let's turn that on. So Again, I'm going to go up to the templates here and just grab one, but, uh, you know, sell them some upgrades, add an item, delete an item, all the same stuff. You can get them to sign off on roofing, you know, shingle color, metal color, all that stuff. Um, there's e-signing. I'll walk you guys through that stuff, but, uh, and templates. It's once you figure out the templates, you just keep building templates and it just keeps getting faster for you. So, um, yeah, terms and conditions. I'm going to flip that on. This is what I think the fun part is. So, add custom page. So I'm going to click on that and I've got all these marketing pages that I've added in here. So talking about a referral program or a financing program, here's certifications and testimonials. Here's the safety one that I just talked to you about. So as you're talking to the homeowner, it's like, ugh, you know, they're freaking out about COVID. I'm just going to click on that one. And then I'm going to click on the page here and just drag and drop it up and put it at the front of my presentation so that right. I'm walking through that with them. Yeah. And then I can go down here and I can add it. We all want referrals, right? Like, Hey, let's make sure we're talking about that. And we put that in here, maybe after the authorization page, we get them to sign off and then we start talking referrals with them. So there's a lot of really cool marketing stuff that you can do in here. And it's really, after you've built it, it's really fast to add and you just layer it in wherever it works for you in here. Yeah. I love that. And I'm sure Ryan's already showed you guys, but the fact that you can toggle on and off, like all this stuff right here, you can choose everything that's on that, that panel. You can either turn it on or off. Like if you don't feel like it's necessary to put a certain page in there, just don't. Um, and I do want to go back to something actually, Ryan, where you were talking about the good, better, best. Have you gone into much detail with everybody about that when I was fumbling around? With I don't think I did. Nope. What, what do you want to cover? I'd like to throw this in here. So particularly with retail, especially, but really in any instance, remember that when it does come down to price, like if you've got a customer, especially with retail who wants to collect bids, well, that seems reasonable because when it's not insurance sale, it does kind of come down to price in a lot of regards because it's not based on Xactivate and you've got Joe Blow Roofer and then you've got like the guy that's charging $600 a square. So if, the customer wants to collect multiple bids because they just think a roof is a roof is a roof, right? They don't understand why your price might be $8,000, but the next guy's is $12,000 and the other guy's is $6,000. So I like to always ask people this question, and this is going to be part of my retail system when I, when I get it out there, but I always ask people this, how much is a cheeseburger? Take a guess. If you want to throw it in the chat window, go ahead. How much does a burger cost? 
Okay. Some people are going to say, okay, $4, right? Probably $4. If you go $7. Okay. Seven fifty. dollars What about at McDonald's? It's a dollar. It's not even a dollar. It's 99 cents. But what if you go to Ruth's Chris and you get a grass fed, sustainably sourced kosher, right? Like <laughs> burger that's made of Kobe beef from Japan. Okay. It's $20. Exactly. So then how much is a burger? Well, it depends on where you get it. Why? Because the quality is different. Yes, you can spend 99 cents and get a burger, but you're going to get what you pay for. It's great de-mystery made at McDonald's. It's still good when you're drunk. But then you can go to Ruth's Chris and pay $20 for a burger, and you're going to get a completely different experience. And then there's everything in between. You go to Applebee's, you're going to get maybe a little better than McDonald's and so on. But to a customer, they look at the roof and they go, it's a 30 square roof and it's shingles. What's the difference? And so if you can satisfy the urge of giving them multiple bids, you're the one giving the bids and saying, Mrs. Jones, the reason that prices are going to be different is using different quality materials. You use the cheeseburger example, right? We have different warranties in place. I have $2 million in insurance. This guy might not have any. And so you're explaining that difference and you say, Mrs. Jones, what are your favorite hobbies? And she's like, gardening, hanging out with the grandkids. You're like, cool. I didn't notice that you added meeting with random sweaty contractors every evening during dinner hour. Is that not one of your favorite things to do? Well, then Mrs. Jones, let me save you a little bit of that trouble. I'm going to give you three bids here. I'm going to explain in great detail why they're different. And then you can choose the one that makes the most sense. And then you can give the good, better, best scenario right here. Instead of just scribbling on paper and trying to explain out loud, you can do a good, better, best presentation with the three different prices and explain this is the shingle that we could use here it's a three tab it's what's up there right now it's not really what most people go back with but it would last you 25 years and if you're only going to be here for the next 15 that would be fine then the middle of the road which is a great choice you know it's a 30 architectural blah blah and then maybe the next one you show like a uh uh ar shingle or something like that right um you can do it right then and there and then just have them choose. So they get the same experience of meeting with Joe, Bob, Jim, and Jared, <laughs> you know, different evenings of the night, but you're giving it all to them right here in front of their face. And it makes sense. And they have a, a they have an actual like role in choosing the line items that are included in that. They understand the price and they get to choose. Do they want good, better, best. So I really, really want to harp on that because that is such a powerful piece of this puzzle using the software that you can just lay it right out there. And it's just at the click of a button, you can do it. And so I love that. And I wanted to bring special attention to that. Um, but that's one of my favorite parts of Sumo Quote. So just wanted to throw that out there. Ryan, take the floor. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate that. I'm going to throw one more thing in there just because, you know, I've been in the industry a long time. And so building this out i'm like oh well i'm like this is how i would do it right if i was using sumo quote and i'm doing good better best like how would i take full advantage of how sumo quote is structured and i'm gonna go view page on this to show you this so your standard one i'm just doing the line items right like here's the shingles you're getting you're getting nice and water and synthetic and drip edge blah 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 right your typical quote 11 grand and then here I'm saying includes everything from good, but with the following upgrades. And I'm listing the product upgrades. And then I'm saying, well, advantages, why does this even matter to you, right? Like continually rated at the top of the industry, you're not gonna have ugly, you know, black streaks across your roof. And that's a lifetime warranty that we're giving you on that. And so to get right. this extra stuff, here's the cost. And then I go to my best and it's like, okay, now let's talk, right? So it includes everything good and you get the class four and I'm gonna give you an extended warranty. If I usually give a five-year, I'm going to give you a 15-year warranty. And again, I'm going to include ridge venting in this because I just think ridge venting makes sense. I think every house should have it. And here's the advantage. Let's talk about that class four. Like, here's what we're talking about with that, right? Like, and you spell out the advantage. Like, why does it matter to them at the end of the day? Whether right. it's better? And you can show that right in your quote. Like, don't just think this is just line items. Sell, market, right? Like, make right. it matter to the homeowner. Spell it out for them. Yeah, because they don't know, like when you're talking about shingles, most people are just like, shingles are shingles are shingles. And so if you're just 
throwing information at them with your mouth, because to you, it makes total sense. You're like, yeah, it's an AR, <laughs> you know, or it's a 30 architecture. If you're just throwing stuff at them, it isn't clicking. Like to be able to put it down, it, it, lay, lay it out exactly like this and just go, here's what this all means. And here's what the shingle is. It just makes it again, very easy and like black and white and it dumbs it down. The, the more we can dumb everything down and just make it like make it make sense to your customer, the easier it is for them to say yes. Totally. Um, okay, well, I mean, we've built a quote here. Uh, so I'm gonna hit review and share in Sumo Quote here. And, you know, we can scroll through this and look at everything and everything's set up. So I can download this just as a PDF. If I'm going to go sit down with the homeowner, when that time comes again, I would, you know, save this as PDF, print it out in color. And certainly you can do this on your iPad where you can standing there, it's easy to do. But if you're, if you're from a distance like this, we've got this send for signing button. So we click on that. I'm gonna view a template because I'm lazy and I don't feel like typing out words. It's hard. Who does? <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna send this to my personal email right now. So, so I'm emailing this to them. And the reason I'm doing it through Sumo Quote is so that they can e-sign it. So I can, what I can do is if I'm running a um, video meeting like this, I'm gonna be with the homeowner on Zoom and I'm gonna have their quote. I'm gonna start talking them through all this stuff. And when they bring up a point, I'm gonna say, ah, that's a great point. Actually, look, I've got something open on that right here. By the way, this is a custom marketing page I love with my company. You know, we're basically saying, well, how do you compare contractors? Because you don't know. So well, this is really what you should be comparing them on. And we list all the stuff that Epic's awesome at, right? Like 16 years in business, 30,000 projects, full-time safety officer, like competitors just don't have that stuff. So right. we go through why Epic's awesome and then typical contractor, wah, wah, you don't know what you're getting, right? Like, and once you've got the homeowner, we're there ready to, you've walked through this, you have a, a tab on colors, they're ready to go with everything. You just minimize this and hit send for signing. They get the email while you're talking to them and they e-sign it. And I'll show you how that, what that's gonna look like to them. So they're gonna receive it in their email and it's gonna say, Epic Roofing Series has sent you a quote. Awesome, so they click on that, right? You have received a quote from Ryan with Epic Roofing. To review and sign the quote, click here. Questions, contact Ryan by replying to this email. So it goes to the homeowner, but it CCs the salesperson, whoever is logged into the Sumo Quote account. So this is not coming back to Sumo Quote. We have no interest in seeing this stuff. So it's gonna go back to you. Here's this personal email, heartfelt that you wrote to them and, and you customized a bit to them. And you've got the PDF attached because they always look for that. And then to sign it, they just click on this link. So while you're talking to them on the phone, they just hit that link and they're like, perfect. I want to go with the better. Like that's the one we talked about. And down here, yeah, that attic insulation, let's do that. And we keep increasing the price down here as they go through this. So we keep retallying that for them. They type in their uh, shingle color here. They make some notes in here. And then it's just this button here, save and sign. So they click on that. If I type your name and click and sign quote, you confirm your entry into a legally binding agreement. And all they do is type in their name and hit sign quote. And that's it. Like, so you can run it over a, a web meeting. You can run it over a phone call because as soon as they hit sign quote, the system is going to email you a copy of that sign quote and you can review it and look at it while you're talking to them and be like, oh, looks like you nailed everything. Perfect, thanks for this. Okay, next steps are blah, 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 right? We're gonna queue you up for production. And what comes attached to that quote, I'll show you right here is, here's everything they did. They checked everything off, checked off their upgrades, product selection notes, digital signature, done. Just save it to your system and, and you're on to the next one. Yeah. So it's really slick to be able to run virtual sales or even just, if you don't wanna do web meetings, sales over the telephone using this as well. And honestly, like, again, I want to point something out to you guys. How I don't recommend using this necessarily is just sending it over and going, okay, take care of all that. You want to do this just like you would be doing it in person on a piece of paper. Like, get on FaceTime or use a Zoom meeting and share, like, share your screen with them and go over this. Check everything along the way. You're doing it with them, right? And then as you get to the last page for the signature, just like in my word for word sales presentation that all of you guys should be using, 
you're going to say, so Mrs. Jones, a signature here means, you just click this box, a signature here means, yes, Becca, come out, meet with my insurance adjuster, you know, if everything gets approved, blah, 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 and all I'm responsible for is my deductible. Sound fair? And they go, yep. And I go, okay, just sign there. As soon as it comes through, I'll be able to see it on my end. So you're, you're walking them through this. You're not just sending this off and then going, it looks so good. That's why they're going to buy, right? If they don't sign, of course, now you have the chance. If they have objections or something like that, you can still send all this over to them. But ideally, you're either, you've just gotten done doing their inspection. You might even be in your car in their driveway and you're like, we're doing the no contact thing, but they're inside on their computer, you're there. Or maybe you're back at your office doing it. But walk through this, like set up a time with them where you go, Mrs. Jones, you have 25 minutes, we'll hop on the computer and I'll walk through all this with you. And then get them to sign right then and there. Like that's your job as the salesperson. So, but you can do this with them in real time. They can check stuff off in real time, logged in, and then sign it just as the same if you were there with a pen and you handed them the pen and waited. You say, all right, Mrs. Jones, so if you're ready, click that box, you'll send the signature, you'll type it in and it'll send it over to me and we'll go from there. And then they're like, okay, or they'll give you objections and you go through objections, but use this in real time. Okay. That's my recommendation to you all. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. Like it, obviously there's an impact in person, but because we can't do that these days, this is a really easy way to adapt that because you can do it all as you're talking to them and it's, it's real time. Um, I'm going to bounce back here, by the way. Just, I'll show you one other quick thing in here is as a salesperson, I've got a dashboard here too. So I can be tracking and, and monitoring and watching my sales. So this area over here, I can assign this to a different salesperson. I'm going to punch in, you know, whatever the expected revenue is on this, but I can set callback reminders. And that's a big thing there. And this actually, somebody asked about uh, integration with company cam and job nimbus. So I want to touch on that in a second. By the way, people, please, Please uh, start adding questions. We're going to start tackling those right away here. So um, when I set a callback reminder in here, A, it creates it in the system in SumoCode, but B, it sets a task in uh, Job Nimbus to, to alert you there as well, right? So now when I go to my dashboard up here, and it defaults to year to date here, but I'm going to do this as a custom date range and maybe just back this up a year. So now as a salesperson, I can see what I've sold. I can see what's open in my pipeline as a salesperson. I see my win loss and here I see my callbacks <laughs> and that I've missed a bunch of my callbacks here, right? Well, Chris and Farley can't call you back, so. I'm really late on that callback. <laughs> that is for sure the one I've been the most delayed on, so. He's not going to pick up the phone. <laughs> no, I just can't bring myself to delete it, so it's too fresh. <laughs> it's too much. Um, Anyway, and here's this one that we've been working on, right? This Ben Bauman one. So when this comes up, if we miss the callback, it's going to flag it. And for, uh, for sales managers and owners out there, you'll have access to this drop down. Your salespeople won't. But you can go in here and be like, mm, how's that Merlin doing? And look at Merlin's uh, dashboard and see his pipeline and his win loss and coach Merlin on this. Or you can even go all salespeople and look at the company's pipeline and how the company's doing for win loss and have it broken up by team member and stuff. So I love all this stuff too, because like when you're a sales manager, your salesmen are always like, I've got some in the pipeline. You're like, but do you though? And so it's like, everything is in here, like to the number and you can see what's happening with all of those, like what's happened. It's you called it last time we talked, you called it like a light CRM. And I love that because I think that is what it does. And it falls up and you can see, like you can see their actual closing ratio. Guys, I could go, I could nerd out on all this stuff, but one of the things I think about is you can see what their actual closing ratio is here. So if your salesman says that they have a goal of selling a million dollars this year, and you know that they have a 52% closing ratio, then we know they have to see, well, if it's a hundred deals to get to a million dollars, they have to have 200 leads to close the amount that they need to get to a million dollars. So we know exactly what their closing ratio is here because we're seeing the deals that they have open and how many they actually get signed and that go through. So having all these percentages and stuff and like the dollar amounts, you know, their average job size, all of that is just, it, it helps you to scale. You can actually plan anything that's measurable is perfectible. And so having this dashboard here that has like to the penny and to the percent, like how your salesmen are doing, what's in their pipeline, what they're closing, um, instead of them just like saying, yeah, I've got some floating around, it 
it's really going to help you plan. And that's really important in a business like sales because we're like relying on our team to just go out and drum up revenue. So if we know what they're actually doing and what their results are, well, now we have some numbers to play with and we can plan and make an action plan around that and, you know, monitor their activity to see if it's in alignment with those sales goals. So yeah, I'll get I've got uh, a couple of, give me this here. Also, I guess it, I know that it's linked up with Job Nimbus. What if somebody doesn't have Job Nimbus? No, that's a good question. I'm starting to see a few questions here. Um, so Job Nimbus is our one right now. So I'll show you guys that one. So when I go into my Job Nimbus account and I go into Mike Tyson's file here, um, I can see that here's the email I sent to Mike out of Sumo Quotes. When you send that email from Sumo Quote, we're going to automatically load that into Job Nimbus for you. And when Mike signed this, it automatically loaded that email in here as well. So I could see the total uh, value of what was signed off on that. And when I go to documents, all the documents are being loaded in here as well, right? So the initial quote I sent him, the signed copy of the contract automatically gets loaded in here. And then even tasks that we were doing, and I don't have the task in here right now, but when we set that callback reminder, it's getting added as, as tasks in here. So there's right. a lot of back and forth that we do to make sure that all of your communications just, you know, being automatically updated all over for you. Um, right. Some people have asked about Acculinks. We don't integrate with Acculinks right now. Uh, Acculinks seems to be one of those ones where it's, I think they're trying to do it all themselves. So they don't really integrate with many people out there. Um, so, and uh, job progress, I, I heard uh, mentioned as well. Uh, we've, we, we've gotten the intro and we've been trying to coordinate a time to connect. So it just hasn't happened yet. But yeah, we'll certainly continue to do that stuff with Sumo Code. By and large, I think most people, from what I can tell, are using Job Nimbus or Contractors Cloud. And there have been a lot of people at Acumens, but I haven't heard as much lately. Because it's not as customizable, I think that fewer people use it. Yeah, and I mean, so far, like the integrations with Dunk, Job Nimbus and Company Cam, like it's, it's just so smooth. Like the Company Cam one, ask anybody you know that works at Company Cam, and they'll be like, oh, this is easily the smoothest uh, integration that we've seen done. Like just how you just click a button and instantly all your photos are just on that page and you hit one, like that is just so easy. Like that's the experience it should be, right? If you're not using company cam, you guys, you're like behind the times. You should be using it. I just need to insert that into there. I need to get an official affiliate thing with them because I always recommend company cam. I don't have like a, an affiliate setup of any kind, but I, it's like, it's so dumb and easy. Like if you're still using Dropbox and like sending and emailing pictures, what are you doing? Stop doing it. <laughs> Stop doing it. Make it easy. Make the easier you can make this job because there are so many moving parts. Like if you are a contractor, you're probably losing your marbles every minute of the day because there's so much to keep track of. So to just make everything like streamlined and just connect through the internet, <laughs> just do that. Yeah, the more you can have it in the cloud and then it's accessible everywhere and it's, it's super easy. And company yeah. cam, Becca, I'll make the introduction. They're wonderful people. I've been in cahoots, like Luke Hansen reached out to me a long time, like back in 2015 and we had a chat and I was like, I'll promote your stuff but we didn't ever have like, I don't make any money off it or anything like that. I just, I love his stuff. So I just like recommend it to everybody. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and then is it Michael, Michael Gogan, Gogan, yeah. right. Michael Gogan. I had a, an email like exchange with him several months ago. Cause I was like, yo, let's do like an affiliate thing. I'd love to promote company cam. Cause I think it's freaking awesome. And then I've just, you know, I get busy with the man stuff. You know how I am. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Oh, like, oh, believe me. I know how you are. So. <laughs> It took a while. <laughs> You're going to laugh. This is still on my computer. Can you read it? What, how old is that? A year? Uh, at least. Yeah. Like. This was when you had emailed me and I was like, I told you, I emailed you back and I go, I have put a post-it note on my computer. I was like, I will call you back. Hey, by the way, just so that everybody understands how this fine, because Becca just had not seen Sumo Quote before. So she didn't know what it was, right? It's like, yeah, another person like trying to, trying to get me to, you know, check out the tech that they built, whatever, right? So like sell to my audience. Yeah. yeah so I, uh, so what I did, I sent her an email and I just said, look, Becca, I'm going to send you a bottle of wine, a nice bottle of wine, right? 
once you get that, crack it open and let's sit down and I will show you how Sumo Quote works. Remember, send me your address and you will receive a bottle of wine, you right? Will get drunk. <laughs> totally. And I sent you a very nice bottle of wine, did I not? You did. You did. You sent me gifts and then you also sent me a journal that was about like gratitude when your life is shitty or so or what was it? Basically. It was like it was like how to be great. It was like a a gratitude journal for even though people are shitty, <laughs> like one of those. Yeah. It, it seemed like you were having that kind of a week one time. So but but I mean that's the like <laughs> It was that when I had coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was so sick. <laughs> so sick. It was bad. But yeah. I, uh, but that stuff works, right? You stand out and that stuff works. And yeah. so again, it, you know, to bring it back to sumo quote, wonderful sumo quote, like if you stand out, it works to close deals. And so, by the way, we've had a bunch of people asking about cost on here. So uh, it's, we're super transparent. It's on our website. Like, so you can go there and then pricing and it's right in here. And I think, I think uh, Beck has even strong armed me into giving you guys a discount for the first few months. So I have. <laughs> yeah, I, I wrestled them. So and and by the way, that's, I'll show you guys that as well because I kind of had uh, I just mocked up a quick page here, but um, jot down this coupon code, okay? Sumo Becca. I just loved it because it made Becca sound massive <laughs> over there. <laughs> Made it sound like she had five chins. So coupon code sumo becca. Um, that's going to give you twenty five percent off for the first three months. Um, three months, you guys. That's a quarter of the year. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and on our website, where it says try for free here, when you go in here, we're not asking for credit card information, all this stuff. Just put in your company name. It's two weeks for free. You know, we'll load a bunch of templates for you. We'll help with all kinds of stuff. Uh, when it's the, how did you hear about Sumo Quote? Uh, Becca, right here. So just make sure, punch that off as well. Like, let's give her some credit for getting all of us together here on a call today, even though she wasn't <laughs> present for half of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it started with this bullshit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have Diet Coke all over my floor over here. I, it's fine. Somebody asked here about including videos in Sumo Quote. So you can't include videos in Sumo Quote, but if I create a new report here, and sorry, I'm. Do you guys hear how Canadian he is when he said that? Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. <laughs> I have like to for all those of you know, huh? I need my apology quota on this webinar. So. Sorry. <laughs> Um, here, where I go view templates and I grab my retail, I've got a, a hyperlink in here that I've just included in here. So when I go, when I send this as a PDF, that it will be a live hyperlink. And so if you've got a hyperlink to a video somewhere, or if you want to direct them to a financing page or whatever it is, like just put the hyperlink in on your introduction page here and it'll be a live hyperlink on a PDF for your customer to click on and, and go through and stuff. Um, yeah, I think we've nailed, I think we've nailed most of the questions and stuff here. Any other last minute questions? I know we're getting to the top of the hour here. Any other last minute questions or anything, Becca, that anything I've missed that you, you really liked in Sumo Quote you wanted me to show? Mm, I'm trying to think. No, I mean, again, for me, like the biggest things that stand out are one, actually looking different from every other contractor that's shown up with a binder, right? Um, to being able to do the, the good, better, best, like to be able to do that in real time is such a, to, to be the one that provides the three bids so that Mrs. Jones and Mr. Jones aren't going out. Wait, you don't have any control when it happens. You don't have any control of the next guy that shows up or the guy that shows up after that. So to be able to do that like in real time and then just the ease of like, turning things on and off right then there. Mrs. Jones, listen, if you're not into doing the ridge vent, we can keep the turtle vents that are up there. You know, no big deal. Like take those off. That'll save you 500 bucks. Being able to do that right there just gives you so much more control. And again, this whole system, the whole point right now is we are not working in our usual environment right now. We just aren't. Like we don't know how long this is going to last, this whole coronavirus thing. Like sumo quote is going to make your job easier, period. But in particular, 
right now, being able to still like take advantage of every angle that you can do to still do sales presentations and close deals and stuff during this weird time where we're not allowed to like sniff each other or touch each other, or, like go into each other's homes. This is going to give you some leverage. Like you can actually do your job and do it better than anybody else is doing it using something as slick as the software. Like I really do believe that I'm not just saying this to fluff up Ryan here, although he is great. Everybody can agree, but it really is going to help. Like it's going to make a big difference. And if you're not rolling with the punches right now with this COVID-19 situation, you're going to have a lot of like catch it up to do in a couple months when we're allowed to go back out into the wild. And I care about all you guys. I want you to be able to succeed right now. And what that means is adapting and you're going to have to get real digital. And this is one of the ways. So I'm into it. Becca, I'm going to throw in one final pro tip here, just for anybody that's lasted this long. Congratulations on making it an hour into this thing. Yeah. Um, Epic Roofing, again, the company I'm an owner of. I'm, I just want to show you this one example. So this is a uh, this is a project summary report we did on a service job. So I just want to show you a different way you can add value to your clients. So at the end of the job, we went through and we said, hey, here's what we did. One, two, three, four. And we talked to them about what we did. And then we retitled the inspection page project photos and we show them step by step exactly how we go through here. And each of these, each of these photos tells a story, right? Like here's, you know, your dryer vents were venting properly, huge fire hazard building up behind your siding. Oh my goodness. Right? Like here's how we corrected it. And we go through and we give them all of this great documentation. We're super transparent. Right. And then we give them a warranty certificate. So they're like, oh my gosh, this company might actually honor a warranty. Like how, how novel. And then we throw on a custom marketing page talking about our restoration company we own. So they'll do everything interior. We'll do everything exterior. Call us for anything. But obviously in Sumo Code, it's back to that toggling pages on and off. Like you can create some really unique types of reports. Like our service department has grown 300% in the last few years here since we've started doing project summary reports. Like we did almost two and a half million just of service work last year. And this is one of the things that we did and property managers just keep sending us work because we make them look amazing to their boards okay. because we do stuff like this, right? So, so there's a lot of really interesting ways you actually can use Sumo Quote aside from quotes and aside from contingencies and all this other stuff we've talked about already. Didn't you also, I remember you were telling me about a commercial deal, I'm pretty sure, that you had where you guys were like thousands upon thousands of dollars more expensive than someone else, but they chose you anyway because they just liked how the presentation looked. Yeah, totally. No, so that was um, uh, three years ago. Uh, it was a $237,000 condo job that I did. So gave it to the property manager, called the property manager a week later, said, hey, we'd love to work with you guys. What do you think? Like, how are we looking there? She said, well, you know, the, the local contractor here, because this was about an hour and a half away, like the local roofer we always use, he's the best, like he bid 207,000. So, so we were like 15% more, right? She's like, but I really want you guys to win this job. So feel free to tweak your numbers if you want to, but either way, you know, I'm going to push the board to, to try and give you guys win this. And I was like, well, that's great. Thank you very much. But I just got to ask, like, why do you want to work with us on this? Like you're raving about this other contractor. We yeah. have one service call for you one time. Like, what's the deal? And she was like, oh man, I know it shouldn't matter, but like, holy smokes, that quote you gave me was just awesome. Like I had a question, I turned the page, there was the answer. Like yeah. I just know I set the two quotes down in front of the board. They're going to be like, well, obviously we should use this company. So it'll just make yeah. my life easier if I'm pushing for you from the beginning. Yeah, exactly. I think that those are huge. Like that's significant. They, it does matter. Like this is a buying process for people. And so when you just make it look professional in an industry that is known for not being professional, it's going to make you stand out. And every single edge that you can have over the other guys is really, really important. Like, so, so yeah. Becca, I got two last questions I can answer in less than a minute here and then we'll wrap it up. But it says the sumo quote month to month or yearly or month to month or yearly. So if you want to pay annually, you're going to get a discount or you can just go month to month. We're not going to lock you into anything. And there's no setup fees. We preload a whole bunch of stuff for you. And then the next question here is, can we load our own stuff into Sumo Quote? Or are we pretty much uh, using the preloaded templates? 
you totally customize it however you want. So you build on it, like we want, we want to speed it up for you. So we're going to give you some good templates that have worked for us, but build it however you want. Add whatever line items, whatever sections, whatever wording, terms and conditions, like add whatever custom pages. It'll be fully yours as you go through this. So it'll be, yeah, 100% tuned up to your company. So, yeah. Sweet. Uh, somebody is asking what support is available. So typically what we find is uh, it's best to book a demo with us, right? Start a trial, play around with it for a day or two, book a demo with us, and we'll walk through and answer all of your questions on this. Um, as far as starting to set, like help you set up your account some, excuse me, once you flip, so your, your free 14 day trial, that's kind of your play around time and check it out. And you can switch to a paid account whenever you want. Once you switch to a paid account, let's book some more time. You know, we'll help you tune things up more. If there's an extra template that hasn't been preloaded that we have access to, we'll share that with you. Like, so yeah, then we'll, we'll help give you a bunch of extra support and stuff. Cool. Yeah. Well, boys and girls, it's been great. Love hanging out with you all. And, uh, Ryan, thanks for spending so much time with us here today. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. I know this is a weird and stressful time that we're all a part of. I went and laid in the woods for the, the other day and just cried in the forest <laughs> due to stress. I hope you guys aren't laying in the forest crying, but if you are, just know that this too shall pass. <laughs> this is just a weird, weird chapter that we're in right now, but um, it's time to just focus on what is in the circle of your control. And, uh, you know, we're going to, I'm going to continue putting out information and, and guidance and recommendations and stuff like that for you guys to really keep kicking ass here right now. And uh, if you have any other questions, I'm sure you can email Ryan here and we'll send you some follow-up emails with like other details about signing up and stuff like that after this as well. But um, again, visit sumoquote.com. Um, you can click right there to do a free trial. And then you can also use coupon code sumobecca. Ugh for 25% uh, off your first three months, which is super cool. Ryan, thank you for doing that for everybody. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you guys take care of yourselves and Ryan and I are probably gonna jam here for a couple minutes. We're gonna kick you guys out, but it's been real. And uh, thanks for joining us here today. Thanks so much, you guys. Talk to you soon. All right, bye folks. <laughs>